Hello, everyone. I'm Chris from Polkadot, a global community for Polkadot. And in this series of videos, I want to tell you about Polkadot story. For the public, maybe the name Gavin Wood is not as well known as Satoshi Nakamoto or Vitalik Buterin. But in the mind of many blockchain developers, Gavin Wood is a legendary programmer and technical leader. Dr. Gavin Wood coded up the alpha release of Ethereum, wrote the Ethereum yellow paper, invented the Solidity language, and founded the next generation blockchain protocol, Polkadot. As Polkadot has become one of the top blockchain projects in the market cap rank, more and more people want to know about the person who created Polkadot. This video tells the story of Dr. Gavin Wood's creation of Ethereum and Polkadot, hoping to help you know more about this low-key blockchain pioneer. Dr. Gavin Wood was born in the UK in 1980. If you have seen his speech, you will find that his image is quite far from the stereotyped image of a programmer. He has short gray hair and often wears a well-fitting t-shirt and jeans. He also has the habit of giving public speeches with a bottle of beer in his hand, no matter how many people are in the audience. One of Gavin Wood's most phrased abilities is his strong engineering ability. That is, the ability to turn ideas into code through reasonable architecture design and programming. After all, he completed the initial development of Ethereum almost all by himself. Gavin's connection with computers can be traced back a long time ago. When his mother gave him an old computer when he was 9 years old, his neighbor Sean taught him to write the first computer program and since then, his interest in programming has started. Choosing to pursue his interests Gavin did a master's degree in computer science at York University and then a PhD at his alma mater, focusing on music visualization for human-computer interfacing. After graduating from his PhD, Gavin became a programmer and continued to explore and create. What he has done includes but is not limited to consulting Microsoft research for the embedded domain-specific language, designing and implementing the first real-time smart lighting controller for a top London nightclub, designing and implementing the first C++ language workbench. He developed OxLegal, an editing system for smart tax contracts, a plug-in notice that can visualize audio analysis, and ripping pits a CD audio track grabbing software. From these experiences, it is now difficult to see that Gavin has always been interested in creating new things and solving problems. For him, code is a passion, an art form. He said in a video, I feel that my value add for the world is in creating technical solutions for things and delivering them. I am in some sense addicted to it. The world, in some sense, belongs to coders. In addition to programming, Gavin has long been interested in economics and game theory. He has developed a strategy board game called Newton Keys and created the Fractal Playground and localized the proportional representation voting system. He also proposed a new voting system for the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. But in the end, they did not want to change the voting system. It may be these two interests that brought him to the blockchain industry, which seems to be the perfect combination of technology and game theory. In fact, when Gavin first learned about Bitcoin in 2011, he had little interest in Bitcoin. It was not until the beginning of 2013 when he reviewed Bitcoin again that he began to realize new possibilities opening up between the fields of ITC and game theory. 
and the inevitable social change to which this would lead. His thoughts on governance later also permitted Polkadot's design ideas. Polkadot adopted a forklift functioning democratic governance mechanism. The story about Gavin is not over yet. In the next episode, we will talk about how Gavin founded Ethereum and Polkadot. See you in the next episode. Subscribe our channel Polkaworld to learn more about Polkadot and the ecosystem.